In this session, we are going to study different types of special channels in digital communication system. The first type of channel is symmetric or uniform channel. The symmetric channel is a channel in which whatever elements we have in the first row of the channel matrix, the second row and the subsequent rows will have the same elements. So each row, all the elements will be same as that of the first row. But these elements will be ordered or will be in a different order. For example, we see P of Y by X, which is of a channel matrix, that is output Y1 when X1 is transmitted or probability of receiving Y2 when X1 is transmitted or probability of receiving symbol Y3 when X1 is transmitted. See the probabilities 1 by 2, 1 by 3 and 1 by 6. This is a first true. Similarly, the second row have the same elements as that of the first row, but they are in the different order. The third row also have the same element, but they are in the different order. This means this is called as symmetric channel or uniform channel. So using this matrix, we can construct the channel diagram. For example, we have the inputs, three inputs we can see in the channel matrix, x1, x2, x3. What are the our three outputs, y1, y2 and y3? We see x1 to y1, probability 1 by 2. x1 to y2, probability 1 by 3. x1 to y3, probability 1 by 6. x2 to y1, with probability of 1 by 3. x2 to y2, probability of 1 by 6 x2 to y3 probability of 1 by 2 similarly x3 y1 1 by 6 x3 y2 1 by 2 x3 y3 1 by 3 so using the matrix we can find the channel diagram what does this infer is the probability of receiving y1 when x1 is transmitted Probability of receiving Y2 when X1 is transmitted. Probability of receiving Y3 when X1 is transmitted. What are the probabilities? 1 by 2, 1 by 3 and 1 by 6 respectively. And so on the row continues. Coming to the next uh, same by, uh, symmetric channel matrix. A1, A2, A3 are the inputs. B1, B2, B3, B4 are the outputs and the matrix is given. So using this we will write the channel diagram. A1, A2, A3 are the inputs. B1, B2. B3, B4 are the outputs. So A1 to B1, we have 0.5 as the probability. Receiving B2 when A1 is transmitted is 0.3. A1, B3 is 0.2. We see A1 to B4 is 0. There is no connection. A2, B1 is 0.3. A2, B1 is 0.3. A2, B2 is 0. No connection. A to B3, 0.5 and A to B4 is 0.2. Similarly, A3, B1 is 0. A3, B2, we have probability of 0.5. A3, B3, we have 0.2. And A3, B4, we have 0.3. So we are obtaining the channel diagram based on the channel matrix given to us. Next, using this matrix, we can also find the channel capacity, which is given by log s minus h. The channel capacity is given by log s minus h into rs. What is h? It is entropy of the matrix h, which is pj log to the base to 1 by pj. And mutual information, we know it is h of p minus h of b by a. So using these equations, we'll solve the problem for the Symmetric channel given to us. We see A1, A2, A3 are the inputs, B1, B2, B3 are the outputs and the elements are being given. So we have to find the channel capacity which is given by log s minus h into rs. h of b by a. They are given in terms of a and b. So I write it as b by a which is equal to h. i is 1, 2, 3. Outputs are 3 symbols pj log 1 by pj. This is equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 6. So I write 1 by 2 log to the base 2, 2 by 6, 
2 plus 1 by 6 log to the base 2 6 plus 1 by 3 log to the base 2 3. So I get h is equal to from this 1.459 bits per message symbol. Next, I want the channel capacity, which is log. I get SS3 minus 1.459. RS considering as 1 because in the problem, RS is not given. So, we are assuming it as 1. So, I get this as 0.125 bits per second. This is the channel capacity. Going to the next problem. For the channel matrix given, compute the channel capacity. See the matrix y by x is given with RS is 1000 symbols per second. So here we know what is the capacity of the channel equation minus H into RS. RS is 1000 symbols per second given in this problem. So we'll find H which is H of now input and output represented by X and Y respectively. So I is 1, 2, 3, PJ log 1 by PJ. So now I get 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So now 0 0.6 log of 1 by 0 0.6 plus 2 into 0 0.2 log of 1 by 0 0.2. So I get h is equal to, I get h is equal to 1.371 bits per message symbol. So now channel capacity is log 3 minus 1.371 into 1000. This is giving me 214 bits per second. This is how we find the channel capacity for the given uniform or symmetric channel. Next type of channel is binary symmetric channel which is BSC. This channel has always two outputs. It has always two outputs. How is this channel represented? If I have two symbols transmitted, 0, P of X1 is given as W, P of X2 say given as W bar. When 0 is transmitted, probability of receiving 1, probability of receiving 0 is given by P bar. And by 2, probability of receiving 1 when 0 is transmitted e is given by P. So when I tell if 0 is transmitted, reception, probability of receiving 0, probability is P bar. And if 0 is transmitted, probability of receiving 1 is P. Similarly, when 0, 1 is transmitted, probability of receiving 1 is P bar. And the probability of reception of 0 when 1 is transmitted e is given by so this is called as binary symmetric channel where we have P of X1 is W, P of X2 is assumed to be W bar. And receiving the same symbol, probability of receiving the same symbol probability is P bar. Receiving the another opposite symbol is given by P. So we write the matrix H of Y by X is equal to X1, X2 are the inputs, Y1, Y2 are the outputs, Y1 when X1 is transmitted, Y1 when X1 is transmitted, what is the probability? P bar. Y2 when X1 is transmitted, what is the probability? P. Y1 when X2 is transmitted, Y1 when X2 is transmitted is P. Y2 when X2 is transmitted is P bar. So seeing that now I write the probabilities and we know probability of P of X1 is W and W bar. So with this I can find what is H here because I want to find the capacity of the channel. If I want to find the capacity of the channel, first I should find H of Y by X. This is P of Y by X matrix. I want H of Y by X. What is H of Y by X? P log 1 by P bar plus P log 1 by P. This is what I get H of Y by X. Now, it, if I want only H of Y, only H of Y, how will I write H of, it is Y1, Y1 log of 1 by Y1, P of Y2 log 1 by P of Y2. What is Y1? P bar W, W into P bar, 
plus p w bar log of 1 by p bar w plus p w bar plus next coming to y2 p w plus w bar p bar into log of 1 by p w plus p bar w this gives me h of y so i can find this is this is small h h of y h of y minus h of y by x will give me mutual information i of x comma y i can get h also i can find the capacity of the channel this is what has been written h of y how to find so i of x by uh, x comma y which is mutual information and channel capacity as i told we can determine using all these equations so binary symmetric channel is given to us we see they are again they have the same elements but in different order arranged in the channel matrix but it has only two outputs this is what we have to know and w and w bar is given see this is w this is w bar as it is given here now i should find what is h of x first how will i find what is h of x h of x is p of x1 log of 1 by p of x1 plus p of x2 log of 1 by p of x2 p of x1 log 1 by p of x1 plus p of x2 log 1 by p of x2 this is what is being given with source probability is given channel matrix is given you have to determine all these things so 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 2 by 3 log 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 log 3 so i get h of x equal to 0.9183 h of x equal to 0.9183 bits per message symbol okay bits per message symbol next i want h of y h of y we know it is this equation r w plus p w bar log plus p w plus p bar w bar for this we should know first what is p bar w plus p w bar what is p bar given to us this is p bar this is p as per the matrix this is p bar p p p bar it is always in the like this form p bar p p p bar it is this form okay it is in this form p bar p p p bar now what is p bar given to me 3 by 4 w is 2 by 3 p of x1 plus this is 1 by 4 w bar is 1 by 3 so this is 7 by 12 next p bar w bar plus p w what is p bar 3 by 4 this is what is um, this is 1 by 3 plus what is p 1 by 4 this is 2 by 3 i get this as 5 by 12 so my h of y is equal to 7 by 12 log 12 by 7 plus 5 by 12 log 12 by 5 i get h of y is equal to 0 0.97 bits per message symbol okay next i have to find h of y by x which is equal to small h p bar log 1 by p bar plus p log 1 by p so this gives me 0 0.8113 bits per message symbol next after this i have to find i of x comma y which is equal to h of y minus h of y by x i have both h of y and h of y by x with me this gives me 0 0.1686 bits per message symbol next i want channel capacity which is log s minus h rs is not given so i can take this 
S is always 2 for binary symmetric channel. So it is 0.1887 bits per second is the channel capacity. If we want efficiency, I of x comma y by c gives you the channel efficiency which is equal to 89%. Next type of channel is binary erasure channel. So in binary erasure channel, here we can see when I tell symbol x1 is transmitted, the probability of receiving y1, which is 0, if x1 is 0, probability of receiving y1, which is also 0, is p bar. Probability of x2, when x2 is 1, is a symbol transmitted. Probability of receiving 1 is also p bar. But there is no probability of receiving y1 when x2 is transmitted or y2 when x1 is transmitted. That means we see that zero transmitted means it wants 100% zero to be received. One transmitted means it wants 100% one to be received. Now, if I tell, we have a symbol here. That means when I tell for symbol when I tell for symbol y to be transmitted when I, if I tell symbol y is received, so when I tell symbol y is received, symbol y is received when there is an error. Okay, when 0 is transmitted, 0 has to be received. 1 is transmitted, 1 has to be received. If y is a transmitter, this is a receiver side, if y gets transmitted, that means there is an error. And what is that y? Either it is 0 or 1 without knowing what it is, without detecting the information being obtained or received. Immediately, a request is made for retransmission using a reverse channel. That is called as binary erasure channel. That means your 100% data recovery is possible. 100% per perfect data is being received. So we can see here, Y is received. The probability of receiving Y when 0 is transmitted is P, which means there is an error. And a request is made for retransmission until 0 or 1 is received. That means if 1 is received, it means 1 was transmitted. 0 is received means 0 was transmitted. That means 100% perfect data is transmitted. Whatever error is there, it has been erased. Hence, this channel is called as binary erasure channel because whenever Y symbol is received, it requests for retransmission of symbol until symbol 0 or 1 is received. Hence, it is called as binary erasure channel. So, we see for binary erasure channel, we can see for binary erasure channel, we have two inputs x1, x2 as per this diagram. We have two inputs and two out, three outputs y1, y and y2. That is what has been given here. y1, y and y2. Probability of receiving y1 when x1 is transmitted is p bar, we know y which is an error and there is no connection between x1 and y2 in the diagram we can see x1 and y2 there is no connection similarly x2 y1 there is no connection x2 y1 x2 y1 there is no connection x2 y p x2 y2 p bar so we can find the channel capacity using the same equation where h of y by x is p bar log 1 by p plus p log 1 by p so using this equation we find h which is h of y by x for the given channel matrix and same equation using the channel capacity. So binary erasure channel indicates 100% correct data recovery as the error is totally erased. Because whenever I receive a symbol Y, it means there is an error and immediate request is made for retransmission until proper symbol is being transmitted. Hence, it is called as binary erasure channel. 